welcome back to the channel everybody it's Nat spectrum here so we have received our eternals update part one where we have received uh, skins uniforms for cersei icarus and makari so we have received a uh, epic quest as well for all three of them so you can choose to do uh, whichever one you want first so but i would advise you to choose icarus first because by what i've seen and heard he can be completed in a single day except you have to refresh um, the timeline battles i think one or two times other than that every single other of his quests and researches can be done uh, in a day since he costs only eight universal books as for Cersei, I, I've heard that uh, there's a lot of timeline battle mission involved in her quest, so you might have to do a lot of resets. And as for Makari, who is the one that I chose, and that was a very bad decision on my side, since Makari has a, a roadblock on her 13th mission, this is uh, this mission requires you to clear her Madness and Shoes. Ma so Madness and Shoes is, uh, is Makari's uh, deluxe pack mission. So this has a, a, a daily entrance limit of four and I had already done so you have to do three missions times two so it's a total of six missions of a madness and truth since it has a four only daily limit you can only do uh, four in a day so I have to do two more so I now have to wait for the daily reset to be able to continue with Makari's epic quest so Makari's uh, epic quest she costs she's a deluxe pack tune she's sort of a discounted uh, deluxe pack character she costs only 4.4 K uh, crystals so four thousand and four hundred crystals and her deluxe pack uh her deluxe pack rewards are gold you get makari's bios you, uh, you, you have a chance at dimension shifters of dropping icarus bios or cersei bios and you also get uh the new uh the new artifacts for these three eternals for icarus cersei and makari and uh, their artifacts are, are kind of juicy so so we're going to be taking a look uh, at their artifacts right now whatever effects on what do they do so as for um so they, you can all obtain them in the advanced uh in the advanced artifact chest so you, so there they are all three of them so icarus is uh Icarus's passive um, gives him increased damage to super villain types and also um, at, a, at a certain activation rate, so 20% chance to activate, he can attack en enemies with iframe ignore. So he, he gets iframe ignore on all of his skills uh, on a 20% chance, which is very, very, uh, which has a very uh, high activation rate. So as for Cersei, Cersei gets a revive. Yeah, that's insane. Cersei gets a revive when she's dead, a 50% max HP revive. This this will be insanely good for timeline battle and wall boss legend as well and and uh, as for uh, makari so makari gets uh, so she will deal uh, 25 uh, like she will deal 25% more damage to enemies who have 50% HP or higher. So when the fight is going to begin, whether it be PvP or PvE, Makari is going to hit uh, way harder and then gradually as the enemy's HP decreases, her damage will also decrease since her buff will wear out. So that's it for the free artifacts. As for... Um, as for Makari, so I'm going to show you the missions yet, which I have done. So this is going to be part one. I'm going to be uh, releasing part two uh, after next reset when I can resume the quest. So the first mission is pretty straightforward, five timeline battles. So you can just is just participation don't even have to win the second mission is use 50 energy so just spend energies this one you ramp up makari to freestyle and uh by what i have the amount of bios that i have received i have ranked up makari to six star so these are just from her bios from her quest so you get a lot of bios of, of her bios from her quest so yes, after that you have to combine ISOH, straightforward, you have to clear Madness and Truth. So this is the first uh, first uh, time you have to clear her deluxe pack mission, Madness and Truth, three times. And then you have to clear Dimension mission, pretty straightforward, rank up Makari, uh, enhanced custom gear, so that just obelisk, rank up your obelisks, use gold, so just rank up some skills or roll an ISOH set for your Makari, squad battle participation, just participate in squad battle, this one is just upgrade your comic card, just upgrade some random cards in your uh, in your inventory. And here you have to rank up Makari to five star. And then this is where I'm blocked since you have to clear her deluxe pack missions another three times. And since my entries have expired, um, I'm stuck here. So yeah, this is gonna this is a rather short one, short video just to update you uh, about uh, how 
Macari Macari's uh, Epic Quest looks like for uh, the first part. So everybody, uh, without exception, if you choose Macari, you're gonna be stuck here. There's no, there's no. You can't refresh the entrances. You can't buy entrances with gold or crystals. So you're just stuck here. And as for her research mission, so you have a six star normal ISO set and a normal ISO uh, one single ISO, a six star ISO eight. And then for the second one, it's a mythic Oru. So these are okay. It's not nothing to uh, nothing to write home about so yeah that's it for this uh, first part of the epic quest on makari let me know your thoughts down in the comments so yeah do remember if you're doing the epic quest make sure to do icarus first since he's the easiest to complete and then you can move on with makari or cersei but that depends on you but icarus uh, should be the first one since he can be completed in a single day with timeline battle refreshers so let me know your thoughts down in the comments let me know who you have chosen for your uh, first epic uh, quest character and uh, if you're new to the channel make sure to subscribe it helps me out a lot and i'll see you guys very soon with some with some more epic quests and gameplay content take care and stay safe